Hello and welcome to Hating TV. Right, as you saw in the last episode, this is all changing. We have got a new workshop going in, which means we have to clear all this junk. That's, that's not junk, that's good. But all this junk has got to go. Parts to baders, uh, more parts to baders, wheels, stuff, just stuff everywhere. So this has all got to go, but we've got to find somewhere for it to go. So all this hay's got to go. That's going over where the square bale hay was in the shed next door. Uh, next couple of days, uh, we've got a great big skip coming in for all this plastic, which is going off to recycling right behind me. And then all the contents of what we're going to keep is going to come into these two spaces. Fingers crossed. And then we can rip it down and do shut up. So I'm going to get on with moving hay around. Right, so all these bales of hay have been on pallets, which has had them off the ground so they can breathe. Now, because they're going to get baled pretty immediately, um, I am not putting them back on pallets. One, it saved me a job, but they're not going to be where they are for much more than, I don't know, maybe two weeks. They'll be reprocessed, but it means we're gaining a lot of space. The tower grab as well is so bloody good for moving stuff around. Like, spikes are great. Don't get me wrong, we've got spikes as well. But spikes are great for like single bales and uh, loading, loading trailers to a degree, loading our factory unit because it's easy, there's nothing gripped on. But most importantly, spikes got no pipes so you can just keep flicking I can keep dropping them off with hydraulic um, pins at the front and swapping from like spikes to pallet forks but the tower grab is brilliant for stacking things away neatly rounds and squares and it's a lot safer because you're actually physically holding it, as it were. So it makes it just a, it just makes it a lot quicker, to be honest. There's no there's no sort of juggling things around like you would with spikes. Just two. Also with spikes in our low sheds, we'd have to like go up and try and hook in between, or take them out one at a time. Sorry about the beeping, we're on the limit. You can see the lights here, which tells me I've got the boom out too far and there's too much weight on it. Right, this is Justin's uh, bounce shaft, the feeder for the baler in the factory. Uh, just gonna gouge out the welds down here. And I'll just flip it over. I'm just gonna take a bit of, a bit of effort to do it. And then we'll just uh, take out these, uh, gouge out these welds as well. So hopefully that shaft will come out from that shoulder there. And we'll get a new machine, or a new shaft machined out. Let's go. Right, that's the shaft out, um, not too much damage. So all we've got to do now is um, get the other one turned up, keyway put in, and get it all new again. Right, now the shaft is all turned. Um, a big thank you to Delta Engineering in Plymouth. 
done an absolute fantastic job. Um, well, you can definitely see the complete difference between these two. Um, that one's had his days, as you can see, stepped to hell. So, big thank you for Delta and Plymouth for getting this all machined out in such quick time. And now we can actually start assembling this back together. And um, get me squared up and lined up, and uh, the keyways in the right place, and then uh, time to go to install. After welded in now after preheating um it's a nice fillet weld all the way around really just mainly one pass i don't want to put too much heat into it um the bottom gusset parts are all done as well on the other side so get cleaned up i could spray it with a uh, i'll get, probably get some red oxide and just probably spray it over a little bit to take a bit of the spatter off it's, I couldn't really clean it off very well, I haven't got my die grinder with me. But nope, turned out well and it stayed square, so quite happy with that. I was a bit worried, but luckily he sunk in there. And um, can't really go anywhere else, really. Um, so now we'll get back to installing it. After making space, we have started getting loads of stuff out of the workshop. Up here. Out the way. So we're on the repair, aren't we, Ad? Well, I am. All right, okay, I'm all the camera. Stood out of the camera. That's right, you got help. Hi, Alex. Oh, hi, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Grab hammer. I don't know he's over me, he's down there. <laughs> I picked up a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> can you, um, can you at least take the tape off? I've got no nails. Why well, have you got nails? I'll bite them. We shouldn't do that. It's well, a naughty it's boy. Hey? It's working with you, that's why oh, I'm Oh, stress, stress, yeah. stress shoe. Cotton do add? Alex. Alex, you're blaming Alex on this one.
We're all up and running now, aren't we? All done. We've run her up. She's smooth as a... And quiet. And quiet. Really quiet. Really quiet. I've got no excuses now. No, you haven't. But she's smooth as a... Baby's bum? Baby's bum. Can we say that? I don't know anymore. Oh. <laughs> whatever, innit? Oh, whatever. But that's all going so we can absolutely smash it through this <laughs> The workshop is, I'm going to say, a ninth empty. Not very then. Well, it's better, it's better than none. There's, there's space. We'll show you more of that in the next, next vid. But thank you guys for watching. We will see you in the next one. Actually, no, we haven't done all the rest of the bits. No, we haven't. If you haven't yet done so, please hit subscribe. the subscribe. And give us a like. Thumbs up. That'd be awesome for supporting our channel. All right. If you don't want anything else, just give us a like. That'd be amazing. On top of that, you can find us on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And after that, you got anything, anything else to say, to ladies and gentlemen? No, nothing really. No, no, nothing. Big thank you to Alex for helping us out on this. Yeah, massive thanks to Alex. Yep. Um, full new shaft. Looks awesome. Also, we learned that Alex can get hold of lots of bits that we told him. Our supplier of this can't get hold of at the moment, which is Andy. It was very Andy. Because of supply issues, but <coughs> he can get us bits. And then on that, we'll see you next video because it's quite late now, isn't it? Yeah. We all want to go home. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Cheers. <laughs>